Michael, what's the best way to describe what happened in the third period and what your reaction was to it, including in the locker room afterward? Well, I, I've never been through an experience like that, so I, it's uh, it's not an easy one to react to. I, I'm not sure I have a valid answer for you, and that's what I told the players. And, uh, you know, for me, obviously, not a lot went right for us. Uh, we certainly know that we've got to be a whole lot better in a lot of areas to close out games and uh, and not put ourselves in those types of positions. But uh, I just told the players that it's just something that that I'm going to try to digest and uh, see what we can take from it. Fortunately, we we still were able to to, uh, to win the game. Um, but I, I, I don't know how to react to give you a real valid answer, quite honestly. Seth. Uh, Mike, two of your goals tonight, uh, the Brian Russ goal and the Teddy Bluger goal, were generated off uh, bank plays, off the boards there. Um, how much encouragement and instruction do you give your players to utilize boards or bank plays to try to create offensive chances? Well, we, we practice those types of things a lot. You know, there's, uh, you know, the – the play with with Rusty, for example, Sid makes a great play just passing behind him when when defensemen have tight gaps. It's a it's a real effective strategy to to make a space play and allow Rusty an opportunity to skate onto the puck. And so um, it was just a heads up play by Sid. It was a great play by Rusty to finish it off. The same thing with Teddy uh, and Erod. So uh, those were just heads up plays, and it's just really trying to take what the game gives you and, and try to identify where the ice is to play on and, and try to create opportunity by uh, by making those types of space plays and you, can, and you can use the boards to your advantage. Taylor Haas. Hey, Mike. Uh, just how nice was it to see to Jeff, uh, see to get Jeff Carter get his first with the team after having some chances in earlier games? And now four games in, just what have you thought about his fit here and how he settled in after having some time to learn the system? Yeah, it was great for Jeff. I thought his line had another good game tonight. They uh, – you know, and, and for him to to score that first goal as a Pittsburgh Penguin, I think uh, means a lot to him. And uh, you know, I'm sure he can just relax and play now. And uh, but but certainly, we were happy for him. It was a real good goal. Mike DeFabo. Mike, I was curious your thoughts on the sixth goal. Uh, did you have any discussions with Tristan about what he was thinking? It looked like maybe he was going for that empty net. And did you you know did you have any discussions about him? What were your thoughts on that final goal? No, I. I haven't had a discussion with Tristan. It, you know, the game just got over. So, you know, like I said, we're going to digest this stuff. We'll have discussions moving forward and what we can learn from it and how we can, get, how we can improve and get better. And, uh, you know, that's the approach we always take. Dave Molinari. Well, thanks for speaking with us, Mike. At what point did you start to sense that this game was starting to get away from your team? Uh, at some point in the third period, you know, it was, uh, you know, that they score the, you know, we take a penalty to go down five on three. They score on that. Um, you know, it gave them a little bit of juice. And to a certain extent, they're, you know, they're playing with uh, with a real free spirit. At that point, they get nothing to lose. They were flying guys out of the out of their, their defensive zone. And, um you know, and, and, and they pushed, so, you know, give them credit. They played well in the third. We didn't play as well. But some point in the third, they were, obviously, we, we had got on our heels a little bit. We've got to find a way to make sure that uh, that we simplify the game and, and we defend hard and we create some of our offense off our defense and not allow opportunities like we did. Take a couple more, Jim Colony. You know, Mike, you said you haven't had a chance to digest it yet, but uh, I mean, this is so weird. Like, how tough is it going to be to digest the game that you guys actually won the way that it ended? I don't have an answer for you. You know, I, I don't have an answer. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we won. These are important points. Uh, I thought we had a great start. I thought we, you know, we played pretty well in the first couple of periods. Uh, there was a lot of things to like about it. You know, we didn't play well in the third. And, uh, and, you know, we can we can talk forever on on why and what went wrong or or how, uh, but the reality is we know we can't do that moving forward. Um, you know, my hope is that that's an outlier. It's not something that we've seen a whole lot. This has been my first experience of of that type of a circumstance, and and hopefully, uh, 
you know, we all learn from it and make sure that we're diligent moving forward. Last question, Josh Shelley. Mike, I actually thought Tristan was pretty sharp in the first two periods. Um, are, are you concerned about how he looked in the third? And did you ever think about yanking him during that stretch? No, no, and no. 